Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by Biology with Dr. Sudha. Let us continue with our previous video that is pollination. We have done, <coughs> we have done about the pollination that is pollination is transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of the flower. That process is known as pollination and we have done that pollination is of two types that is self pollination and cross pollination. Let us have a fast revision of that what we have done at one place only. Suppose this is one flower and this flower is bearing for example bisexual flowers. This is one plant bearing different flowers. Suppose these flowers are bisexual means having their <coughs> male and female reproductive parts only in one flower and one more flower suppose is there and that too is bisexual right okay and also consider one more flower that may be bearing for example unisexual flower that can be bearing only the female reproductive part that is pistil or it can be bearing the male reproductive part that is stamen means anthers. So, on a single plant there can be unisexual flower means plant is monoecious and the flowers are unisexual. This is male flower, this is female flower and also consider let us one more plant which is bearing only the suppose only female reproductive part that is for example you can take the papaya that is male papaya right and one more plant which is bearing sorry this is female papaya and one more plant suppose it is bearing aapke le lete apne anthers means this is the male plant right so various possibilities of plants are there now let us understand how this pollination what the type of pollination is. If the pollen grains are transferred from this anther <coughs> to stigma of the same flower, same bisexual flower, then this is known as autogamy which we have done is the type of self pollination, right. And if the pollen grains, pollen grains yaha se transfer dusre flower ke stigma ko bhi kar sakti hai, right. So, if the transfer of pollen grain is from anthers to stigma of another flower of the same plant, then that condition is known as gitinogamy, okay. And it may require some agency that we have done in gitinogamy is functionally it is similar to cross pollination that is xenogamy and uh, this is genetically it is similar to self pollination that is there is no change in the genetic makeup as the pollination is occurring on the same plant right. Now these pollen grains or uh, pollen grains of this anther they may get transferred for example uh, from this plant to stigma of this plant means plants are different. This is plant number 1, this is plant number 2 for example. Then this condition is known as genogamy or allogamy and it definitely requires some agency that may be biotic agency that may be abiotic agency that we have already done. And more conditions pollen grains of this male plant can be transferred to the <coughs> stigma of this female plant of the same species. This is also genogamy. So you can say when the flower is same, let me uh, make it more clear, if the flower is same for pollination, then it is autogamy, right. If the plant is same, plant is same but the flowers are different flowers are different 
then this is known as gitanogamy right and if the plants are different plants are different flowers are different right then this is known as cross pollination ठीक है दिस इज अबाउट द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन सो आई होप यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस टॉपिक वेरी क्लियरली एंड नाउ वी कैन मूव फर्दर विद दिस लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद अवर टॉपिक लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट वेरियस पॉलिनेटिंग फैक्टर्स नो द पॉलिनेशन कैन बी Now the pollination can be through biotic factors. It can be through abiotic factors that we have already done. That there can be pollinating agents can be abiotic. Abiotic means a for absence and biotic means life. So means these are lifeless agents. Lifeless agents and what are they? They are air and water, right? And biotic agents. Biotic agents that we have done, there must be bio means life. There must be some life. Means they are the pollination is by the living organism that is most common by insect that is animals. Living means animals. Animals can be insects, can be bats, can be ants. Anything can be there. There are different types of pollination, right? So on the basis of that, we will also study in this video. <clears throat> okay now i have already told you that biotic agents are preferred more upon abiotic agents for pollination why because as you know abiotic agents they don't have any sense there is always a chance factor whether pollination will occur or not occur so uh, suppose to understand this thing let me take one example of uh, for example let me here this is stamen part and these are the anthers pollen grains are released from these anthers and here is lying for example our pistil part right but the direction of air when will this pollen grain will land upon this stigma when the direction of air will be like this agar hawa is taraf chalegi tabhi pollen grains ud ke is stigma ke upar aayenge in case of anemophily that is pollination by air but if the direction of flow is opposite then that is not necessary ki pollen grain apni iske upar stigma ke upar pahunch payengi right so there is always a chance factor there is a possibility of getting pollination but it's not sure to compensate the chance factor the plants which are pollinating by abiotic factors they release pollen grains in large number thousands of pollen grains are released and out of 1000 it is possible that if all the pollen grains are not able to land on this stigma unme se kuch 10 20 kuch to pahunchengi na so there is always chance factor to compensate that chance factor pollen grains are released in a large number right okay and in this video let us continue let me clear the board neatly so that we may understand what we have done ओके okay. अब देखो हमने फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव व्हाट वी हैव डन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एनिमोफिली एनिमोफिली इज पॉलिनेशन बाय एयर नाउ देयर इज नथिंग टेक्निकल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फ्लावर व्हिच आर पॉलिनेटिंग बाय एयर यू कैन जस्ट हैव यूज योर कॉमन सेंस एंड यू कैन आंसर that what kind of characteristics or what uh, are the kind of flower or what kind of pollen grains or stigma should be there for example let us see the plant wo plant jo air se pollinate karte hai unka stamen wala jo part hai ya main bolu ki anther wala part hai wo kaisa hona chahiye ya unke pollen grains kaisi honi chahiye simple si cheez hai ki कोई भी लाइट चीज़ जब कोई भी एनी थिंग विच इज़ कैरिड बाई एयर दैट शुड बी लाइट वेटेड 
तो पॉलर ग्रेन्स को अगर एयर से कैरी होना है तो दे शुड बी लाइट वेट तो हेयर वी विल राइट पॉलर ग्रेन्स आर लाइट वेट राइट एंड सबसे जो एक इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ हो रहा है कि पॉलर ग्रेन्स हवा से कैरी हो रही हैं तो इसके लिए उनका जो सरफेस है दैट शुड बी नॉन स्टिकी अगर वो स्टिकी होगा तो दे कैन एडियर एट एनी प्लेस कहीं भी जाके वो स्टिक कर जाएंगे और अपनी प्लेस पे नहीं पहुंच पाएंगी जो उनका डिजायर्ड प्लेस है दैट इज स्टिग्मा तो दे शुड बी नॉन स्टिकी राइट ओके एंड फॉर दिस पॉलन पॉलिनेशन बाय एयर दिस फिलामेंट इट्स एंथर पार्ट मीन्स कंप्लीट स्टेमेन इट शुड बी एक्सपोज सो दैट इट मे मूव आउट विद एयर एंड विल हेल्प इन द इजी डिस्पर्स ऑफ द पॉलन ग्रेन्स सो स्टेमेन शुड बी स्टेमेन शुड बी एक्सपोज एक्सपोज स्टेमेन शुड बी देयर राइट दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ स्टेमेन इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट इज वॉट शुड बी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ स्टिगमा सो द नाउ द पोलन ग्रेन्स आर रिलीज फ्रॉम दिस स्टेमेन दिस एंथर एंड दे हैव टू लैंड over this stigma and now as you know they are already lightweight and they are non sticky so their stigma should be broad this should be broad so that pollen grains can easily land over upon this stigma so there should be broad stigma okay we have done that they should be non sticky right so to hold these pollen grains this stigma part should be feathery so that iske andar pollen grains easily trap ho jaye kahi light weight hone ki wajah se non sticky hone ki wajah se agar wo stigma ke upar land nahi kar paye aur kahi aur gir gayi to pollination nahi ho payega so usko achhi tarah se hold karne ke liye the stigma should be feathery so we can write here feathery stigma here we can uh, सीधा एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दैट कॉर्न कप कॉर्न कप जो कॉर्न कप दैट इज हैविंग टेसल्स टेसल्स मतलब ऐसे डिज आर द एक्सपोज स्टिग्मा होते हैं वो कॉर्न कप के टेसल्स दे आर मूविंग विद द एयर तो दे आर स्टिग्मा पार्ट शुड बी एक्सपोज राइट सो देर दिस शुड बी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द प्लांट शोइंग पॉलिनेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एयर दे इज नथिंग टू यू कैन सी कि कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नहीं है कि कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कैसे याद करेंगे यू कैन जस्ट यूज द ब्रेन कि वॉट शुड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फॉर एनी थिंग टू बी कैरिड बाय एयर राइट तो दिस इज अबाउट एनिमाफिलस एंड आफ्टर दैट लेट इज कंटिन्यू विद अवर हाँ वन थिंग मोर दिस इफ द फ्लावर साइज इज स्मॉल फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी प्लांट विच इज शोइंग एनिमोफिली द फ्लावर साइज इज स्मॉल एंड then these flowers can make inflorescence and every in every ovary there is one ovule in the locule this ovarian cavity there is ovule right so there can be found in bunch also now that is corn uh, corn cab i have given you the example that is inflorescence right okay now let us come to hydrophily what is hydrophily now hydrophily is the pollination with the help of water you can understand from the word itself hydro means water that is pollination with the help of water now i have already told you that wind is preferred over water right so why water is preferred less because the it is very rare and limited type of pollination why because most of the angiospermic families are terrestrial they are living in the terrestrial environment and they don't require water so only out of all the angiospermic families whatever we have known only 30 genera in your ncert is also given this thing that only 30 genera they are showing this hydrophily and in that major number is of monocots you can remember this thing like if i represent monocot by m what is its mirror image will be like this so it's like w the so monocots they show pollination by water just to remember there are very small these are very small things this is very rare and limited and it 
is seen in lower plants seen in lower plants lower plants that is bryophytes and pteridophytes why they uh, show because their male gametes have to travel through water so they bryophytes and these pteridophytes for pollination there is requirement of water and uh, here we can take the some examples of uh, plants like valisneria your that uh, what joster yeah sea grasses hydrilla hydrilla ko hum kaise bhul sakte hain hydro bird se hame pata lag raha hai hydro bird se ki this is pollinating by water these are the plants showing pollination by water what happens in these plants suppose this is uh, water level and valisneria plant its female part that is stigma come closer to the surface of water this thing is also explained in ncrt and it has its stigma part and pollen grains are released on water light weighted air they flow with the water current passively they move that means they are moving with the water current light weight and when these pollen grains reach nearer to this stigma they will pollinate the flower sorry pollinate the they will land on the stigma and pollinate the flower okay and in joster that is sea grasses what happens in sea grasses this is water level sea grasses marine sea grasses they are lying deeper they are submerged in water pura pani ke andar dip rehti hain ab aisi condition mein what should be the uh, characteristic of pollen grains to yahan pe kya hoga pollen grains will be ribbon shape they will be ribbon shape ke pollen grains hongi taki wo pani ke sath float kar sake right and these pollen grains and these pollen grains they are having a mucilaginous coat they are having a mucilaginous coat why why there is requirement of mucilaginous coat because due to wetting by water they can get destroy or spoil ho sakti hain right so what i want to say that according to the various conditions according to their surroundings various plants have adapted itself like if they are pollinating by water if the plant is coming on the surface of water then the pollen grains can be light weighted but if it is submerged in water then the pollen grains have to be uh, have to take the shape accordingly that uh, to get the suitable condition or make the condition suitable so that is ribbon shape they have to float so like this every organism in nature has adapted itself according to their surroundings so there are various adaptation in our next video i will also explain you what are the adaptation the plants has done for self pollination and what are the adaptation plant has done for cross pollination that we will continue our next video but here tell me one thing that do you think that all the plants which are uh, sorry aquatic plants all the aquatic plants will show hydrophily is that so suppose water hyacinth and your water lily these are aquatic plants right these are aquatic plants but they don't show hydrophily so it is not necessary ki jo plants pani ke andar rahenge wo hamesha hydrophily hi show karenge it depends aisa nahi hai like jaise water hyacinth ki baat kare suppose this is the water level the flower suppose this is water hyacinth is its flower they are they come at the surface of water and they get suppose this is their anther and there are chances that their pollen grains may be carried by air that is anemophily that may be carried by some other animals especially insects so there you can say they can also show anthemophily anthemophily means the pollination by insects so various possibilities are there but hydrophily is uh, a rare type of pollination because <coughs> most of the plants and just vermic plants they are living in the terrestrial environment right so this is all about our hydrophily <coughs> now what should the characteristic i have told you if they are light weighted they are carried by the water current they should be mucilaginous layer pollen grain can be ribbon shaped and they um, protected by mucilaginous layer right okay now this is all about the abiotic factors pollination by abiotic factor after that let us see what are the biotic factors right so biotic factor 
as we have done the pollination with the help of living living factors living factors sorry nahi uh, it's by some animal something living is involved for doing this pollination right so biotic factor we can take the most common most dominant agents for pollination biotic agents for pollination are considered to be insects वैसे भी आप अगर देखेंगे तो जो आर्थ्रोपोडा में जो इंसेक्ट आर्थ्रोपोडा इज द बिगेस्ट फाइलम एंड इन दिस फाइलम द क्लास इंसेक्ट दैट अटेन्स अ 90% परसेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑन दिस अर्थ आर इंसेक्ट सो दैट कैन बी पॉलिनेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ बीज दैट कैन बी विद द हेल्प ऑफ बटरफ्लाइज राइट दैट कैन बी विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेब्स डिफरेंट नेम हैज बिन गिवन टू दिस टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन the shown by different different organisms right if the pollination is done by birds if the birds are showing the pollination biotic agent then this kind of pollination is known as ornithophily right and the insect pollination ko hum bolte hain entomophily that is entomophily okay and the pollination can be by bats so there are kuch terms aapko yaad rakhni hoti hain uh, according to your exams ab dekhiye bats ko yaad karne ke liye you can take the word batch right to so, yahan se aapko naam yaad aa jayega bat aur ch that is cairo taro phili that is pollination with the help of bats होता है क्या है ऑल दिस वट एवर आई एम राइटिंग द नेम्स ऑफ दिस बायोटिक एजेंट दे जस्ट गो एंड सीट ऑन द फ्लावर फ्लावर के ऊपर बैठते हैं किस लिए जाएंगे वो फ्लावर के लिए फ्लावर क्या करता है इन इंसेक्ट्स को या इन बायोटिक एजेंट्स को अट्रैक्ट करने के लिए कुछ इनको रिवार्ड्स देता है राइट right? तो वो जो रिवार्ड है जो फ्लॉर की तरफ से दिए जाते हैं इनको बोलते हैं फ्लॉर रिवार्ड्स मतलब कोई भी ऑर्गेनिज्म सॉरी रिवार्ड्स कोई भी ऑर्गेनिज्म किसी भी फ्लावर को क्यों विजिट करेगा कुछ लालच जब दिया जाता है तभी वो जो इंसेक्ट्स है चाहे बर्ड्स हैं वो फ्लावर को विजिट करते हैं जब वो विजिट करते हैं फ्लावर के ऊपर आके बैठते हैं तो पोलर ग्रेन्स उनके पैर के साथ या उनकी बॉडी के साथ स्टिक कर जाती है और जब वो किसी दूसरे फ्लावर पर जाएंगे तब वो पॉलिनेशन में हेल्प करते हैं तो फ्लोर रिवार्ड्स के बारे में हम अभी थोड़ा बात करेंगे बट लेट मी कम्प्लीट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस एंड पॉलिनेशन कैन बी बाई एंड्स If by ants, then its name is my macrophylly. That is, me macrophylly, right? That can be by snails also. If it is by snails, then it is malapophylly. Malapophylly. So, so these are some names given to types of pollination depending on the which organism is helping in pollination. So. these as uh, these names you have to remember what are they um, if the pollen is done by ant that is mermacophily that is melapophily right so ek ya do bar padhte hain to yaad ho jate hain ab dekhiye main baat kar rahi thi flora rewards ki koi bhi organism kisi bhi flower ko kyun visit karega sabse pehli cheez attraction even we too are attracted towards the flower if the flower is beautiful it has its uh, petals are brightly colored hum bright color dekh ke flower ki beauty dekh ke even we if we can get attracted to ye to insects and birds they are also get attracted to inke jo bright color ke jo petals hote hain dekho characteristics bhi hum kar rahe hain kis tarah ke flower hote hain jo uh, biotic agent se pollination show karte hain to bright colored petals theek hai एंड दे कैन बी सेंटेड फ्रेग्रेंट भी हो सकते हैं खुशबू की वजह से भी कोई भी ऑर्गेनिज्म अट्रैक्ट हो सकता है फ्लावर्स की तरफ देन नेक्टर नेक्टर इज अ स्वीटिश सब्सटेंस सिक्रेटेड बाय प्लांट सॉरी सिक्रेटेड बाय फ्लावर और उसी नेक्टर को लेने के लिए बहुत सारे इंसेक्ट स्पेशली बीज दे विजिट द फ्लावर एंड पोलन ग्रेन इट सेल्फ पोलन ग्रेन जो इट सेल्फ है दे आर वेरी न्यूट्रिशियस दे आर ऑल्सो द फूड ऑफ सम इंसेक्ट्स और सम यू कैन से बर्ड्स तो पोलन ग्रेन को लेने के लिए भी बहुत सारे बायोटिक एजेंट्स फ्लावर को विजिट करते हैं राइट एंड इसके अलावा फ्लावर्स को और भी बहुत सारे लालच देने पड़ते हैं जैसे कि हम अगर बात करें फॉर एग्जांपल लेट मी राइट हियर 
there is one example given in the ncrt uh, even picture is also shown amorphophallus let me confirm the name that flower is amorphophallus yeah i was right amorphophallus amorphophallus jo plant hai iske jo a m o r p h o p h a l l u s theek hai तो इसके जो फ्लावर हैं दे आर सिक्स फीट इन हाइट किसी भी एक ह्यूमन की हाइट के बराबर होते हैं और बड़े बड़े लीव्स होते हैं तो द दिस बायोटिक बर्ड्स ए कमेंट सीट ऑन दिस लीव्स एंड इट्स सो एट हाइट दैट इट इज़ द सेफेस्ट प्लेस फॉर दिस बर्ड्स टू ले देयर एग्स और फॉर इंसेक्ट्स टू ले देयर एग्स तो राइट right, इस तरह से नेचर अपने uh, आप तरफ अट्रैक्ट करने के लिए कुछ लालच देती है इन बायोटिक एजेंट्स को राइट और देर इज वन मोर एग्जांपल गिवन इन एन सी आर टी दैट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन यक्का एंड मोथ यक्का एंड मोथ यक्का एंड मोथ दोनों अपना लाइफ साइकिल एक दूसरे के बिना पूरा नहीं कर पाते उनके बीच में एक सिम्बियोटिक रिलेशनशिप है बोथ आर बेनिफिशियल टू ईच अदर मोथ जो है विजिट करता है यक्का प्लांट को और वो इसकी ओवरी में जो लॉक्यूल है उसके अंदर अपने एग ले करता है और जैसे सीड बनता है और एग में से लार्वा निकलना शुरू हो जाता है तो इस तरह से दोनों का लाइफ साइकिल एक दूसरे के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है तो दैट इज़ अ सिम्बियोटिक रिलेशनशिप तो व्हाई द मोथ विल विजिट यक्का प्लांट बिकॉज इट हैज़ टू ले इट्स एग और ये एग कहाँ ले करेगा ओवरी के लॉक्यूल के अंदर और जब ओवरी में सीड बन बन जाएगा पॉलिनेशन हो जाएगा जब ये दूसरे फ्लावर्स को विजिट करता है तो पॉलन ग्रेन जो इसने कैरी किया वो जाके उसकी ओव्यूल के पास उसके स्टिग्मा के ऊपर लैंड करवा देता है राइट तो देर इज अ सिम्बियोटिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन यक्का एंड मोथ तो दीज आर द फोल फ्लोरर रिवार्ड्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द अवर टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन दैट इज बायोटिक एंड ए बायोटिक फैक्टर आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू एनिमोफिली इज प्रेफर्ड अपॉन हाइड्रोफिली एंड बायोटिक पॉलिनेशन इज प्रेफर्ड ओवर ए बायोटिक पॉलिनेशन आई थिंक देर इज no doubt if there is any doubt then please write in the comment section and you can ask me from there also from comment section by writing in the comment section till then bye bye for the next video wait and thank you for watching happy watching